Buongiorno. Zoe, como ça va? Your cousin's been learning some French, which maybe one day I will read a book in French. Please don't ask me now. It's not very good. This book's called A Small Thing But Big by Tony Johnston, pictures by Hadley Hooper. Okay. Ooh, that is a pretty orange. Ready. Set. Go. Vamos. Lizzie went to the park. Lizzie. Oh, missed a page. She played tra la 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 la. She ran zoom 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 zoom. She ran close to a dog. This looks exactly like the park that is behind the Louvre in Paris. Makes me think of my um my honeymoon. Huh. Lizzie Bros. Do not be worried, said the old man of the dog timidly. Oh, she found a dog. Does she bark? asked Lizzie, with worry away anyway. <laughs> Not at little children, said the old man. Does she bite? asked Lizzie anxiously. Only her food, said the old man, a bit anxious also, but with sparkle. Go ahead, give Cecile a pat. Oh, oh my goodness. Feeling assured, carefully, oh, carefully, Lizzie patted Cecile. Zoe, do you have a dog? Yeah, what's your dog's name? Is it Cricket? Cricket the dog. She is a big slobbery puppy. Cecile sat soft and still. She seemed to enjoy those pets. I patted a dog. Lizzie said quietly, a small thing, but big, the, said the old man quietly too. Shall we walk, Cecile? He ventured in a quiet way. Lizzie felt uneasy. Do not be worried, he, said the old man. Cecile will adore walking with a child. She is quite adoring being with you, said the old man shyly. How surprising, springingly she walks. Lizzie walked springingly too. Walking with a dog, a small thing, but big. She is a good dog, Lizzie said, patting Cecile. All dogs are good if you give them a chance. Would you like to hold her leash? How? said Lizzie, a little fearful. Just so. Zoe, can you put your hand up? And put your hand up and grab the leash. Grab it, grab it, grab it, so you can hold on to the puppy. Lizzie held the leash just so, and she and the quiet old man and the quiet dog Cecile walked quietly around the park. A small thing, but big. You know, ventured the old man, I believe you could take a little walk with Cecile by yourself. I could? You could. Lizzie and Cecile walked around the park, hesitant at first, then springingly, over springingly, while the old man watched from a bench. Walking a dog alone, a small thing, but big. I walked Cecile! said Lizzie. A glow magnificently, said the old man. A glow as well. Before today, I was very afraid of dogs, Lizzie told him. The quiet old man replied, before today, I was very afraid of children. The end.